open seas bulk upload hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can upload your nfts by bulk and by doing this method you will save hundreds and hours of work so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so first thing that i want you guys to do is open up your windows tab like this like get a nice layout because this is very important okay so you have your main screen over here your main windows over here where you will open open seas and then you want to open two excel different spreadsheets and then what you want to do is you want to install this program right here now this is very important program is called mini mouse macro now what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to you know make the whole process easier i'm going to show you in a little bit so first things first what we want to do is we want to sign into our open seas account so let's go ahead and our wallet let's go ahead and select metamask just simply sign into our metamask wallet so that we know now once that we have signed in oh so there he goes now we're signed in now what we want to do is we want to go over to the collection come over to your accounts and click on my collection now over here what we want to do is we want to create a new collection so click on create a new collection create one for yourself click on sign the transaction there you go but i'm gonna go ahead and use my other one that i've already created for the sake of this video but i'm just showing you how you should basically do it so once you're over here okay this is very important you have to keep it like this now next thing that i want you guys to do is make sure that your folder in which you are you know have your nfts lined up the next thing that i want you guys to do is once you have you know set up your layout everything looks good Next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you, the collection that you are trying to upload, their names are supposed to be matching the ones that are over here. Okay, now this is very important. I know you must be confused, but you have to make a spreadsheet, okay? And then you have to enter in these names, okay? Then you have to enter in numbers, and then you have to enter in names, and now you have to create this list of nfts that you are trying to upload and then in the second dot spreadsheet what i want you guys to do is just simply add in these details so what i want you guys to do is add in a twitter link or your website link or an external link that you you keep or your showcase all of your nfts then i want you guys to do is i want you guys to you know you add in the description because we're going to copy paste the, all of this so i want you guys to make this process as fast as possible next thing we have the properties as well but you can add them it's just an optional option that you can do if you want to that you have everything ready okay you have your names you have your description and your the title and stuff like that and then you have your nft ready now we can go ahead and do it now what we want to do is we want to you know start mini mouse macros so what i want to do is just simply click on the record button as you can see now it's recording now whenever i click it'll record that click over there so if i click on add item okay so as you can see it recorded that now as soon as i'm gonna go ahead and click on create a new item i'm gonna go ahead and go into the assets folder over here so that it recognizes this folder so that whenever we try to upload the folder whenever we try to upload the nft this folder pops up so that we don't have to constantly go that because the second time when we do this when the process repeats it's the window is going to be already opened over here and if it clicks over here it records that click the whole process is going to get ruined okay so now i'm going to go ahead and record it again but before i do that i'm going to delete these two last stops i'm going to go ahead and click on start actually let me just go ahead and reset the password okay let me just clear all the map okay, so let me just go ahead and restart the process so i'm going to go ahead and click on record i'm going to click on add new item okay i'm going to go over here and create new item go over to the assets folder where i have it okay i think i thought i stopped it but it didn't stop okay let me just go ahead and delete all of this okay, so now that i've deleted that now i'm gonna go ahead and resume it okay so now it's recording now i'm gonna go ahead and click on the first nft and i'm gonna click on open and now that we have it we're gonna go ahead and copy the name we're gonna go over here spreadsheet we're going to control c copy the name we're gonna come over here and paste it over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this link i have over here for our external link we're going to paste it over here same with our description and paste it over here okay and once we do that we have to click on enter and 
there we go and then okay now that we have that we have our collection and we'll go ahead and choose that collection okay we'll enter after that we have properties we can add the properties if you want to you can go ahead and do that that's totally optional but for now we're just going to click on, on tab icon and then down below we have the supply we'll keep that change we have the polygon and then when we come to create we'll just simply click on enter and wait for the process to finish and there we go now we'll just simply click on close and now we have to come over here at the top and we have to go back to our collection okay we come over here and we start clicking on the tab icon so that it doesn't take quite a lot of time and then when we come over here we click on view collection and there we go we're back to square one and now what we have to do is we have to click on add item it'll just basically record everything so now what we can do is we can stop the process and we'll delete the last one remember to delete the last one now what we can do is we can go ahead and save the macro okay click on the home button icon over here this means to click on save macro and there you basically go you can go ahead and save it over here onto the desktop as well there we go so click on save enter in one save there we go now we have done that we'll click on loop it and now when we play the macro okay let me just go back to the home screen real quick now as you can see everything is set up let me just go over here and play this macro for you so if i click on play just leave it like that as you can see it's working pretty fine go ahead and select the nft right now there you go click on open it'll go over there copy the name paste that name over here now i'm sure you're thinking that it's running a little bit slow but we'll do that in a little bit don't worry so as you can see i just messed up so now what we'll do is we'll basically stop it and i think i basically did it wrong so let me just go ahead and try it again okay so i think i have you know finally figured it out so let me just go ahead and just load the macro again that i just created i'm gonna go ahead and open it and i'm gonna show you how it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and click on play the macro now it's very simple okay so it's pretty easy as you can see it's running around i figured out the problem i think it was because it's the tab button too fast so it opened up the scripts in the google chrome section but now as you can see over here it's running pretty smoothly everything is going pretty good right now as you can see everything is going pretty good now i'm going to go ahead and select this collection and i'm going to move down to the create section i'm going to click on create so as you can see i'm not doing anything it's the macros that i loaded and they'll just keep on repeating this process until it's basically done so as you can see over here i'm just going to go ahead and enter in the amount and it's pretty simple like you can keep run this program like you can record a macro make sure that it's pretty simple and also remember to wait a couple of seconds before clicking on a tab so that gives you a little bit of time even if your internet is gets a little bit slow sometimes so that it covers you and as you can see it's pretty simple now that's basically it on the loop over here loop button the whole process will be on looped and that's basically it it'll keep uploading nfts and you can upload 10,000 nfts overnight you can just let this program run in the background and sleep at night and when you wake up you will have 10,000 nfts uploaded it's pretty simple it's really unique so this program is called mini macro mouse so you can download it it's pretty simple and then you can remember to customize your layout like this so that the mini mouse can record the mouse's position and every click and every scroll so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye